All right, let's just uh, start with your name. Uh, Shane Murphy. And uh, I need you to tell us a, a story about your life, about your childhood. Tell us the time when you were 16 to 16 and a half. Those were probably the best six years of my life. Um, oh, I met a guy, and he was really nice. He uh, actually gave me $3 hmm. over the course of the time I knew him, which was like 14 days. How, uh, any words that he said to you? Or? Yep, he's like, um, hey boy, what's your name? And I'm like, oh, my name's Shane. He's like, here's $3, Shane. And that always stuck with me. Wow, that's a very, <laughs> that's definitely a time in your life that really, you know. Yeah. Uh, what was your relationship with your parents at the time? Sexual. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> so, you and your mom are pretty close? <laughs> Me and my mom were real close. We were like real close. Like, um, I used to like just randomly like. Here's a story. Like one day I woke up in the middle, like at the middle of the day, and I'm like, "Mom," and she's like, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, "I'm gonna go back to bed." So I did. I was like, "I'm going back to bed." And then I walked back to bed. You know, in my PJs. I was like 23 at the time. I don't know. So I masturbated. <laughs> How was your uh, your life in school? Because I know that you were um, born poor black child from yes. the suburbs. I was born black and um, converted white, of course. Mm -hmm. And like school was awesome. See, I was straight up like my parents raised me right and got me into law school. To start, you know, I just went to Philadelphia School of Law, and I. I trained under um, Finkel Mingle Chingerlock. Mm. Yep, he was a very famous attorney that no one really knew of. And um, he did a lot of high profile cases. You may have heard of the, you know, dog food case against chicken wings. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one where the dog food's like, no, we use chicken. And the chicken wings were like, but we have chicken wings. So yeah, now chicken wings don't even have chicken in them. They have. Uh, Actually, chicken wings use duck. A little known thing, you have a, a brother named Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some words you want to say to him? You haven't seen him in a couple years. Yep. Brandon, if you're watching this, hey. Uh, what was the last thing Brandon said to you? Um, the last thing he said to me when I last saw him, uh, he helped me move. The last thing he said was, um, okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Oh, I remember you telling me the story about how there was a ghost in your house one time. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? Just take us through. Because that was, that's intense. My heart's beating just thinking about it. So anyway, it was me, my mom, my pops, all jumped in the car, and we headed downtown to our haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so downtown at our haunted house, there, um... We open the door, and the first thing my mom says, she looks at me and goes, Hey, Shane, I think this house may be haunted. And I'm like, why do you think that, Mom? And she's like, because there's a fucking ghost on the stairs. And I looked, and there was a fucking ghost on the stair. And the ghost was like, hey, guys, what's going on? This is my place. I got to stay here. Um, so my mom's like, well, you better hold up your end of, like, you know, the rental agreement. And the ghost is like, I can't get a job. I don't have any money. And my mom's like, you got a month. And I was like, oh, that's a little harsh. I mean, just a month. Anyway, the ghost didn't find a job, so they evicted his ass. And, um, like, he couldn't leave the house or he went to hell. So my dad was like, listen, you get out of this house. And the ghost was like, no, if I get out of the house, I'm going to go to hell. And then I'll, go, I'll be, like, burning. And my dad's like, I don't give a shit, ghost. Like, we didn't even ask the ghost its name. I think it was Dave. <laughs> he was gay. Tell me about... <laughs> time when you lost your virginity when you saw that girl at the bar what did you say to her so I walk into this bar right this girl she's just sitting there you know sitting there with her short little mini skirt you know got this turtleneck with her titties popping out and um you know my friends all my friends like to call me like a little nickname is John Jacob Jingle gonna fuck her ass Smith you know any girl 
know, sometimes they throw definitely in there somewhere, like, John definitely gonna fucking smike, smike, smike her. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, smike is a word for, I'm gonna diddle her ding dong. <laughs> Anywho, so I saw her, and I came up, and I'm like, I want to wrap your legs around me and wear you like a feed bag. And she was like, that is probably the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. And then you looked her right in the face, dead serious hill, yeah, and you said, thank you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. I think, um... Needless to say, I got nailed. <laughs> That's good. Is there any other thing... That you would like to say to our future generation to learn from your story here. Kids, do drugs and stay in school or don't. <laughs>